What's up YouTube? This is Trader A. Just wanted to give you all a quick, quick update on how things are going. Just wanted to let you know last week ended in a disaster on Thursday. It had been going pretty well all week, but everything just pretty much went downhill on Thursday. But I tried not to lose faith, decided that this week I'd start back. Really, it was my intention to just have much more discipline and use more non-discretionary methods in my trading. So first off the bat, what I decided to do is, and this was my intention, it did not work out perfectly today, but it is a start. So I decided to use Trader Rob's oil trade. It's an inside bar trade is what it is. And it pretty much has very strict rules and is very simplistic. My intention was to trade his session two, which is nine to 10 o'clock, but uh, my strategy ended up triggering at nine o'clock on the dot based on session one signal bar and um, session one um, inside bar. So basically this is how the trade works. You have an inside bar and then you take that candle either to the upside or the downside once that inside bar is broken. So this would be my trade. You go for a one-to-one -one target and stop loss based on, I call this the mother bar. Cause this is like the mother bar. This is like the inside bar. So it's based on the mother bar. So since the next candle broke the top side of the inside bar, then my target price is to the upside, the same distance from the bottom of the mother bar. So this is Trader Rob's strategy that he taught to me. If anybody's interested, you can check out his channel. He goes over them every day as well as his Discord. And I believe Money for Matt actually coded the strategy in Ninja Trader. So it was my intention to do the nine to 10 o'clock session, but this one actually activated and worked. So that was that. So it's my intention to just have one Apex account doing this strategy so that I don't, I don't have to do it. And actually this strategy had very, very good results for the month of March in session two, which is nine o'clock to 10 o'clock. So, uh, like I said, I, I haven't, well, no, I didn't say it in this video, but this is actually my second time trying to record this video because the first time it didn't record. But I haven't watched Trader Rob's video for today, his recap. So I don't know exactly what type of user error I did with getting in between these sessions so we shall see but you know hey i was super happy i think my trade yielded 150 dollars so that was great so unfortunately this morning i did not have an extra account so i went ahead and did my next trade also non-discretionary as well let me pull that down this is trader rob's 15 minute rob reversal so this is the one, um, this is based on a 15 minute chart and it's basically a bounce and reversal off the eight EMA. So let's see, where is that trade? Oh yeah, here it is right here, y'all. So this was the first trade of the morning. Let's see, 11 o'clock, we had this huge red bar pretty well underneath the, um, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, right here. 10.30, we have this green bar. This green bar, which is kind of bullish. I mean, that tail is showing a lot of rejection. But then we have a red bar showing a pullback. And then we have a nice big red bar again coming back to the downside. We break it, and that's the entry. So with this particular strategy... The entry is at the break here, and then it's going to have a $700 stop loss. 
which would be right about here, and a $700 take profit. So, this was our entry right here, and lo and behold, this thing came all the way down to here and just turned around like, I mean, it just came all the way down. It, it was a nice trade and came all the way down here, turned around on this big green bar and just ticked us out. Um, definitely ticked us out. I'm trying to think how this happened. Because I don't recall it. No, maybe I do. I think it actually did come here first. I actually witnessed this, y'all. It came this close to the target. And I just sat there and watched it. I think I was I was a deer in the headlights. Anyhow, me trading Apex, I need I should have gotten out of it. It wasn't a smart decision on my part. I just it's just trying to have that mindset of non-discretionary, just let it work. Which, hey, I probably can just let it work, but I do have to remember I am trading Apex. It's different from Top Step and Top, and top Step. If you lose this trade or go break even on this trade, it's not as harmful because you're not you're not penalized for your un, your realized or unrealized unrealized drawdown. Here, I was in profit, close to $700, and so it was a double whammy because not only did I take the drawdown $700, so that's already a $700 in drawdown, or close to $700 in drawdown that I didn't get. Well, it was $700 in drawdown because I'd already gotten $500, I'd already gotten $150 in profit earlier because it was on the same account that I did the oil trade on. Then I let it go against me 700 and I and I got here. So anyway, that's what happened. I blew the account. Okay, this was to me the real rob reversal right here. So you have a green bar here, another green bar, another green bar, then you have a red bar. So to me, had I been home, I would have taken this trade. It did not automate. And with the strategy, I don't know if it's because it's not a true rob reversal or if it's because I have the settings to only take one trade or, or something with the drawdown. I'm not sure. But this is the trade that I would have taken had I not had to leave. So I would have entered right here on this red bar. That would have been my stop, which it came nowhere near the stop this time on the trade. It's hard to get it right at 700. Oops, I think I just had it. Anyway, and then this would have been the target. So that would have been great, but that's not what happened. So hopefully... Maybe tomorrow I'll have my own account for the Rob Reversal. I have to be really careful with the Rob Reversal because it's a 700 take profit and it's a 700 loss. So if it turns against me, it may be something where I have to go ahead and take profit, especially on the Apex account. Now, I'm also trading it manually on my Top Step account, or at least that's what I plan to do. So it's not so bad in that situation. And I believe Trader Rob trades it on his top step account. So he's not dealing with the same situation that I'm dealing with with Apex with this trailing drawdown. But anyway, that's what happens. Needless, needless to say, I blew that account. <sighs> Took another little trade. Tried to hop in late, I think, on something, which was nothing. But... um anyway that is that's it on that so next up my Bob Anderson trades let's take a look at those okay Take a look at those trades. Where are they? They should be marked. Let's 
see, those should have been around. Well, I don't know why. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Okay. So, let's see if I can get this where y'all can see it. Okay. So, I tried to take like an open and range trade. So, I did something on that this morning. Then I tried to do a couple of these pullbacks to this 9 EMA. My 9 EMA is blue. I tried to do a couple of pullbacks on that. They were fine, whatever. Okay, so here are the money trades right here. I took this bounce off the um, five-minute red line right here. I'm going to move this so you all can see it. Didn't quite reach it, but it was good of enough of a bounce for me. So my intention was to take it to the long side up to the 9 EMA, but... I was using, a, I was trailing my stop and I kind of got knocked up because this bar was just acting so crazy going back and forth and I, I just couldn't catch it at the top. So I only caught it here. It still ended up being a pretty good trade, but it went all the way up to the overnight open. That would have been the more ideal target. Okay, so then we had a nice move back down right at the overnight open, which was beautiful. And then we had to move back up to the five minute red line with also confluence with my 200 moving average. So this was another beautiful trade right here. Unfortunately, I just fumbled with this trade so much y'all. And it was only about a $230 risk. So it wasn't that much risk on it, but this trade just went down, down, down. This is like a $1,200. $1,400 trade at the end, you know, when it's all said and done. But honestly, I fumbled it a lot. So I was just kind of hopping in and out, hopping in and out. Finally, you know, got a little bit here. By this time, it doesn't look like I was getting too much. But anyway, so I took these trades on my other little evaluation that are that are discretionary. They're supposed to be discretionary, but still I need to implement more rules on them. Just like, okay, three trades and just they still need to be a little bit reined in a little bit. But I use that, that new evaluation for that as well as for my, um, my PA account that I still have. So just going over that, let's see where, where the results are. Okay, so here are the results. My new PA that I, I did the Bob Anderson strategies on, the opening range, and these were my discretionary trades today, 682, and then also on my PA account, a negative 126. I'm trying to get that back up to 25,000. So that's pretty much where I am. Unfortunately, the um, Trader Rob account is blown. So um, I'll have to hopefully try to get another one of those to start with tomorrow. And I, ideally, I would like to get one for the oil trade, the morning oil trade, and one, one for the Rob reversal by itself. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not, but we'll see. We'll just see. But anyway, just happy trading. That is where I am. Hope you all had a good trading day as well. Thanks for tuning in.